Hey guys, this is an open letter to the Messianic Manic. Uh, someone who, if you check the comment thread on his video, uh, Can Creationists Be Converted? You'll know that I wound up having, not an argument so much as a bitter interchange with a friend of mine. Um, on her birthday, no less, so... Yeah, that was fun. Incidentally, subsequent to that, we've patched up. However, it's brought me to an interesting realisation. I want to put this out there and see whether anyone else has actually had the same experience. The people who value friendship more than they are... more than they value... blasting people with ideologies or winning them over with clever arguments or um, sophistry are going to be the people who will agree to disagree or will try and not make people feel uncomfortable with their beliefs. This applies to uh, atheists as well as theists and uh, people who hold radical views of any sort, really, um, or just strongly, uh, or just strong convictions. I wound up having a conversation with that friend I had the interchange with in the comments section and we just laid it bare and she said what she was comfortable talking about and I said what I was comfortable talking about and everything else in regards to this issue we left. That was it. And the truth is, it's been my experience that the kind of people who are going to whinge on and on and say, no, you have to believe me. No, you can't go to these people and their false ideals or their poor reasoning when you're not particularly impacted by the consequences or the origins of the argument in general are one of two things. They're either people who are power tripping and insisting that everyone should believe them because they're special. Or they're people who are desperately afraid of some imagined consequence uh, if everyone doesn't agree and tow the party line, as the uh, expression goes. So before you ask, sh can you convert people? Here's the question to ask. When is it okay to just say, whatever? Or just say, I'd rather not talk about this. Because I think I found it. And perhaps the better question even than that is not to say when, yet with whom, should you actually continue the debate? And when is it worth having the debate at all? Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I hope this has been educational. It certainly has for me.